400 years ago, the drain that I am currently standing in would be responsible for powering the Albion paper mill. Today, it's just an empty drain, completely devoid of the power that spilled through this massive system and into the Connecticut River. But the beauty of photography is that we can generate power with an image and bring life back into the lifeless. All that may be a little bit too philosophical for me, especially since I don't think I can even spell philosophical. But it's an honest approach to shooting this historic building or what's left of it. Three years ago, I started documenting this old paper mill settled along the Connecticut River, and at the time, I found its current state fascinating. So without permission, I would just sneak on to the site and record just about anything I could. Some of the other really interesting aspects of this mill center around these southern oak barrels. The wood in the barrels were sold from the south to northern states as pennants for the Civil War. It's crazy, right? The wild part is these handmade oak barrels have lasted longer than some of the brick and mortar that housed these oak barrels. The meter here says F32 at 30 seconds, but what we're gonna do is F32 at, at 15 seconds, which is essentially going to give us a stop of overexposure. Brighten this image up just a little bit. There's not a lot of detail outside in terms of the sky, so I'm not too concerned about blowing that out but even one stop of overexposure shouldn't blow that out. Not too concerned. Let's get ready to take our exposure. Fifteen seconds. Ready? said it was hard to compose down there because it was so cramped um, it was really difficult to get into but luckily I have the 90 millimeter which is really really wide um, but another challenge to that was the lighting situation there was a lot of light outside but not a lot of light coming in thankfully it's overcast so the the drop off of light from shadow to highlight should be fairly gradual and shouldn't be too severe so I think that sort of plays in our advantage exposures were long but that's okay, I've got time to kill. much remains as the building is just about one-fourth of the way gone but walking up to the third floor and seeing that twisted wood slumping over was just surreal. posted a picture of it on my Instagram and somebody said that it reminds them of the uh, Edward Scissorhands attic and I, I thought 
yeah, that's, that's pretty much, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking too. There's a, uh, there's a bald eagle over on the power line. I just watched it fly over. Let me see if I can zoom in enough to get it. I also have a reverse shot from what was behind me. Just through this doorway was this grandiose staircase. That section was later added to connect the offices to the actual mill. I do like this shot for one reason that I noticed after, and that is the grooves and grain that you can see in the floor. The wood has been so used that the nail heads have exposed above the boards. That along with the exposed brick, wiring, and gentle lighting coming through just made for a... <sighs> nice photo. <laughs> Chef kiss. thankful for the time here and being able to capture the paper mill in its last days. But before I go, I wanted to announce the random winner of the 4x6 giveaway. I have it here on my phone. This was completely random, um, but we put some names through the generator and the person who won, Matthew Morse. Congratulations, Matt. I'll send you the 4x6 of the white Mercedes. I'll reach out to you either in the comment section or uh, in your DMs or email, whatever is easiest, honestly. Uh, but I wanna thank you and thank everyone for commenting. You guys are absolutely amazing. I was blown away by the amount of comments that I received and uh, don't worry, even if you didn't win last time, there's a chance to win this time. Comment your timestamp, same rules apply. Whoever I pick randomly and announce in the next video will get the photo that they requested in a four by six. We'll keep doing this, this is fun. The more that we can create art, the more that we can put it out there, the better the world is for it. But with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here because it's super cold and my ears feel like they're about to fall off. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.